All right, good morning. It's Monday morning. We just got unloaded over here in Sellersburg, Indiana. And we just delivered our skidded coils. We're getting ready. So they take all them skidded coils and this is everything they make out of them skidded coils. a uh, YouTube guy, YouTube follower, Easy Trucking. He, uh, he's a subscriber. He said hi. Stop and said hi. Ah, so we're on our way to Indianapolis, and then we're gonna pick up a load, take it over to St. Louis, and then. We're gonna pick up a load out of Granite City. Let's get it coils again and bring them right back over here. Had a good weekend, got everything done that I needed to do. Did my shopping, did my laundry, did my shower. Straightened up the truck just a little bit. Barely went for a walk. So, uh, I do got to make one more stop at the rest area. I'm going to take her out real quick and uh, do some paperwork so I can get paid for this load here. And then we'll make our way up to Indianapolis. We've got about uh, 100 miles or so up to Indy. So, uh, talk to you in a bit. We made it over here to this rest area and now I'm going to get ready to uh, send my paperwork in. I haven't shown you guys this in a long time for you new people. Uh, so what I'm doing now is I'm logging in to Mercer's website and we have a uh, file upload option. Gonna pick make sure I pick the right load loaded on the 21st because I got two granite cities to Sellersburg and pick what document it is sign bill of lading and then we're gonna take a picture of it so it works best if you take a picture this way usually I just set it like that and then I'm going to stand up, line the picture up, and take a picture. Use a photo. And I got to do that for every page. These loads usually have four or five pages. 
so I got to send in every page so just kind of go through the process here all right that's the last page there so I got all that done now we'll upload and then it'll let you know if it's good to go or not and then I usually hang on to these I usually I just hang on to them. I got a big file at home. Uh, that way I can prove I did it. Every now and then somebody will call and say, hey, do you have a copy of the invoice or the bill of lading that you uh, used? It's still uploading. It's a little slow. So we'll wait for that to get done. And then... Um, we're going to go pick up our reload out of Indy. From right here, we got about 50 miles. And then um, that'll head over back over to St. Louis. I got to take care of her real quick, and then we'll head up there. All right, we made it over here to Indianapolis. Take the next left onto Western Drive. Now, I've been back here before, but I haven't been to this place we're going to. I've actually been to the company right across from them. So some of this is a little bit familiar. I do know it's kind of tight around back because we got to go behind the building. In a quarter mile, you will arrive at your destination. Got to go around back, but. Uh, and our appointment actually is until 12.30 and it's 11 o'clock right now. And I think somebody said they take lunch from 11.30 to 12.30 or 12 to 12.30 or something like that. See that building with the green trim right there? That's the building I loaded at one You've time. Arrived. The building that we gotta go to is around back.
Eppingham, Illinois. I got a different camera. I got my big camera. Uh, here, I'll let you see it real quick. Hang on. So this is my big camera right here. I haven't used this too much, and I should, because I paid a lot of money for this camera. But uh, I'm gonna try using this camera more, and I'll show you why in just a second. Hang on. So the reason I want to start using this big camera more is this is my action camera. If it'll show up in the up in the light, but anyway, that's my action camera, and I put it on a magnet mount. And it's got the little the little uh, mic and everything and I tried it today with uh, using that camera and see what it looks like give a more wider angle lens but uh, there's Bailey of course she licked the licked the lens I don't think so all right let's take the big camera outside and I'll show you what we got I got the metal bars poles they use for uh, construction sites now if you remember a couple days ago there it goes a couple days ago uh, you saw in the video the crane lifting the concrete slab portion of the wall well these are the metal poles that they use to brace up those walls during construction and uh, man I used a lot of straps the guy I was loading said he he'd prefer to have two straps on each layer so uh, this is one layer right here. This is one layer right here. So uh, he wanted two straps on each layer. But uh, so he ended up using a lot of straps, which is fine. Weighs 45,000 pounds, it's heavy. You can see these feet claw things on the bottom here that they use. And then I think they just put a bolt right in the wall to hold them in there. So. But they're in there. The uh, construction site that these are going to, the guy I called him, he says, man, we're waiting on them things. If you can have them there at six o'clock in the morning, that'd be great. So uh, we're gonna do it at six o'clock in the morning. But uh, the old Dorsey trailer looking good. So it looks good. Everything's looking good. Shiny truck. There you go, there's Bailey in the window. All right, let's get the big camera, get in the truck, we'll get on down the road, get on over. We all got about uh, a little over an hour over to St. Louis. All right, we'll try this with the GoPro. So I'm recording on the GoPro right now, which is on like super wide angle lens. So uh, we'll see how the audio sounds. That's the biggest thing is the audio. I can get a good picture, but the audio is the other thing. All right. Like I said, we got about 90 miles over to St. Louis. I haven't quite figured out where we're going to camp out yet or how we're going to do it. But I'll figure it out when we get over there. too soon and then she's hungry in the middle of the night. Scraped some of the bugs off the window while I was here. Got me a soda. So we're going to deliver this tomorrow loading over in Granite City. Skidded coils right back over to Louisville. What we delivered this morning, the same thing. And then we're going to pick up a load what's that, Tuesday and Wednesday. Pick up a load Wednesday out of Elizabethtown, Kentucky which is just south of Louisville. And take that uh, up to by Detroit. Delivered that on Thursday. And I haven't been dispatched on it, but I've been accepted on the load out of Toledo. 
going to Louisville, Illinois, which is just south of Effingham here. I've done that load a couple times. And that'll put us back over here on Friday. And then we're going to try to get some more skidded coils on Friday. Go back over to Louisville. I really don't want to be on the road during uh, the holiday weekend, especially this holiday weekend. People are ready to get out and about. I don't blame them. I've been cooped up for over a year. somewhere to walk around. We get over here. Alright, so let's get on 70 West. This stuff is just a little bit top heavy. You gotta be just a little gentle going around the corners there. All right, it's the end of the day. We made it over here to Pontoon Beach, Illinois. Which a weird name for Illinois, but. That's where we're at. We're at the Flying J truck stop. There it goes. So, I fed Bailey. She's already ate. As soon as we stopped, I fed her. So there's some toys. Where are you at, Bailey? There you are. So, I fed her. Um, We are, I booked that, or I did get that load going to Louisville, Illinois, which is just south of Effingham. So, uh, this week's looking good. So all I need is one more piece of the puzzle, and that's Granite City back to Louisville on Friday. That's what I'm waiting for. So once I get that, the week will be done. So anyway, it was a good day today. It went pretty good. So it's a good Monday, so hopefully the rest of the week will go like this. I'll try not to jinx myself, but uh, hopefully it will. All right, we'll call it quits for today. With the new big camera, or not shouldn't say new, but with the big camera, and uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.